Hello gems and welcome to the Sapphire Star. Today I'm going to show you how you can add physics and add movement to your 2D VTubers bangs. How do you get the bangs flowing and looking super duper nice? We'll be focusing on bangs in this video but you can apply a similar method to the rest of the hair as well. Before I start showing you how to move the bangs I want to share with you about a program that I love that I've been using for five years called Lazy Nozumi Pro. If you are looking to make smoother line art, if you've ever seen really smooth line art and you don't know how to quite get that digitally, you could check out Lazy Nozumi Pro. They have a 15 day free trial and it is a one time payment for $32 after the 15 day. You can also use Lazy Nozumi Pro for so many things like its perspective tools, but I mainly use it for the smooth line art, but you can dive more into it and learn all about it. So definitely check that out and make sure you grab that if you're an artist. All right, let's get started and learn how to make our live 2D VTuber bangs more lively using physics in live 2D cubism. Great, so we are going to be using the lovely new sapphire model I've been working on for this demo. So again, this is what it's going to look like at the end here, sort of with your parameters. And I'll show you again as well in the physics settings what it should look like. So I'm just going to move this over. This is my physics window. I'm clicking spacebar to move this around. And then if it doesn't move your physics, click spacebar again, because then it's unchecking this box. So make sure you have apply physics added over here if it's not moving. So then you just click and drag in here to see the physics. So as you can see, this is what the hair physics look like for my model. We're going to, I'm going to show you how to do how I get the bangs to look the way they are. Long hair is a little bit different, but this video will focus on bangs. If you're interested, please drop a comment down below saying I would love a tutorial for the rest of the hair and I will dedicate a longer video to just that if enough people are interested in it. Okay, great. So our first step is going to be, I'm going to delete the parameters we already have for these pieces. I, as you can see, I have multiple pieces tied in with the bangs here. I'm just going to focus on the bangs for this tutorial specifically though. So we're just going to delete all that. So that's going to be a little bit stiff afterwards, which is fine. So what you want to do when you're making new physics for anything is you get to create your own parameter. So we're going to click new parameter down here and we're going to call this hair swing X. Now with everything moving, it is on an X and Y parameter. So X is across, Y is up and down. So we're for first focusing on X, which is going to be back and forth, shaking your head back and forth. Like you see my 3D models face shaking right now. So then we want to name this param. You can erase the two and then call it hair swing X. Make sure it is the same name up here, down here. It doesn't matter about the spaces. It just needs to be the same. And then we're going to turn our minimum to 15 and our maximum or our minimum to negative 15, sorry, and maximum to 15. And you can mess with these different settings and make it even more extreme if you wanted. Like if you wanted the hair to like just fly over there even more, you might have bigger parameters. So depending on what you want to do, you can adjust that to your liking. Negative 15 is pretty, uh, a pretty good area. I'd say that I've enjoyed using. So now that we have hair swing X down here, I'm just going to click and drag this into my hair folder. Now you don't need this into any specific folder to get it to work. I'm just doing this for organizational purposes to keep track of where everything is. So I just have hair swing X in my hair folder. Again, the folders here are not necessary for that. You would be fine without it as well, but I like to keep it organized and I recommend that you do as well. Okay, great. So the first thing we actually want to do now is you're going to click on your bang here. I'm assuming that you in this video that you've already set up a lot of the other stuff like your head movement and this is kind of later in the game for you. So if not, I recommend checking out my full eight part series for how to model a, how to rig a 2D model if you haven't done that already. And then you can start going to these additional lessons like this video here. Next, what we want to do is you click on your hair piece and here I have it in my hierarchy, hierarchy, hierarchy over on the left. And uh, what we're going to do is we want to add what is called a deform path edit tool, which is really great to use to edit your physics on things that swing. You can use your warp, but I recommend, which we will use the warp here in a little while, but I recommend using the deform path edit tool, which I'll show you to do. We already have it. So I'm just going to delete the current one I have to restart here with you. So I will be back after that. Okay. So you click this deform path edit tool up here. Make sure that's highlighted gray. Make sure you're on the plus over here. You have a minus to delete them as well. Um, these are the two that I use. I haven't actually used fold line or delete path before. I mean, you can delete the whole thing with the trash can. So we'll use the add control point. So just go down the middle of your piece of hair or that specific section of your bang and try to like sort of even it out. So you can kind of feel this one out and then to move it and test it, you can go back to your arrow tool up here and kind of move it around just to see like how it's going. Okay, great. So we know that it's all working and that's smooth. And we're going to do this for every single bang. I'm not going to walk you through every single bang. Uh, I'll let you do that yourself, but I will do a little speed paint section here. If you would like to see how I do it, you can slow down the video. All right, let's do it.
Great, so now that we have all of them with the deform path edit tool, that gives us all the tools we need to be able to create the physics. So next we're gonna go back to this hair swing X and we are going to drop three points, adding three keyforms like this. So this means now we have a way to move our bangs across the X axis. So I'm just going to right click snap. So you can right click and snap to these points, right click snap, snap to the left. And we're just gonna move the bangs. Remember this is X, so don't worry about going up and down. This is just going across, shaking across. So go ahead and just feel it out and you can test it and you can go back to these and edit it later if you're like yeah I kind of want to make that move a little bit more or maybe you figure out you want to make it move a little bit less and this is just going to come with practice so now I'm right clicking and snapping over to the left to move the bangs this way so I wouldn't like break the form too much when you're when you're doing physics because you don't want to make it look too awkward or too weird but again you can sort of just play with what you think it will look like when it's swinging and again this might take some experimentation so now we have the right and the left for this bang and we're going to do that with every other bangs. So now we'll move over to the next bang and now every bang has their own set of key forms here. So you see how the green dots disappeared? We're going to need more again so you're going to drop it on this bang and do the same thing. So now we're just editing this bang and of course that bang will fly up when we right click because we're using it on the same parameter. So now they are both moving over uh, and then we also want to right click snap to the left key form here and then move this bang to the left. And try to avoid moving this top part here because your root of your bang doesn't have much movement because it's close to your scalp. The further away it is, the more movement it's going to have because the more kind of loose it is. And that's just something where you can again like look in the mirror and shake your own head and like watch how your hair moves. And that could be a really useful tool and point of reference for you uh, to use. There's also a book that I always recommend to everybody in our community and anyone who's interested in animation, which if you're using Live 2D, you are most likely interested in animation. So check out the link down below. It is a link to a book I highly recommend everybody get called The Animator Survivor Tool kit that can help you learn with animation. And Live2D is also a great program for animating and not just for making a VTuber. So if you want to make your own characters and do like animated shows, that's an option for you to, to be able to do, which is really cool. So we're going to do the same thing now with this piece of hair. So I'm just kind of going through them. We're going to drop our three points once again and right click snap to the left and just move over. And again, if you can't move these points for some reason, it's not working. Make sure you're on the selection tool and not the deform path. Because once you make the deform path tool, you don't, that's only for making it. And then you want to use your arrow to actually move uh, the little points. So now we have this moving over, uh, which is great. Again, there's going to be a lot of adjustment here to sort of make to make this look good. We might even need to pull in some of these points a bit, which is fine. And this is getting a little wonky. And then we'll go to the left as well. And now we'll pull this over to the left. And I, if I were you, I would not like bend it like that. It's not really natural. So still, what I mean by keep its form, if you still have your hair like facing this way, don't break that form when it moves. And I actually did that here. So I'm actually gonna move this back a little bit more because I kind of broke the form, which made it probably look a little bit not natural. So again, this just takes experimenting. See how that looks a little bit more natural now? And it still has some issues, but again, we'll we'll see how it looks once we get the physics engine missing. So again, it's look, see what looks natural and try to match that as best as you can. Okay, I'm just gonna do a speed paint for the rest of the movement here, but we're just gonna keep repeating the same process. Drop your three points, snap to the right, and then move it. And again, if you want to watch, you can slow down the video, but I will be speeding this next section up. All right, now that we have the side moving, we can test it in the physics engine and we'll show you how to do that. We're not completely done. We still have quite a bit to do, but you're gonna go up to the modeling and then click open physics window. And next we are going to add a new group by clicking add up here and we're gonna call this hair swing bangs x i'm just gonna put two i'm only putting two because i already have one uh so we're just creating this this one for the demo so you can name it really whatever you want to name it we're gonna for the preset we're gonna do head input because the bangs are attached to the head and then for the physical model i usually just do long even though it's short i like the long one uh so we'll just go with long and then after you have that make sure it's selected up here in group and what we'll do after that is you go to output settings right click click add and then we're gonna add the hair swing x which is the parameter that we 
created outside of the physics engine. Remember earlier when we did new parameter, you want to select that box. So ours was hair swing X and make sure you change your scale to 15 and make sure you match this to whatever it is. So if you did your parameters at 30, negative 30, that's where you, you change that. But we did 15, negative 15. Remember when we did that earlier? Perfect. And now we can go back to input settings. Make sure all the effective is turned up here on everything. You want to make sure that's turned up if it's not working. And now you can see when we move our character to the left and right, you can see how our bangs are moving. So sometimes it will look weird when you're doing it, but like make sure you check it out and see and test it out here and, and see like, okay, what does it look like? Does it work? Because sometimes what you think wouldn't work actually works really well. So the bangs are actually moving really nicely. We don't have up and down movement right now. Bounce, which is what we're going to add next. So we have the side to side, but we do not have bounce, which is next on the agenda. So this one's going to be a little bit different than the swing. So we go out and we do a new parameter once more as we did earlier and we will do hair bounce hair bounce and we will do hair bounce why because again this is going up and down and then we'll copy this and paste this here hair bounce why i'm just gonna erase erase and then perfect then we'll do negative 15 again and 15 for the max click okay and now we have them here and then we will go to now how we are on the main hair adding the deform path we did that earlier now we actually want to use the warp so you don't if you don't have a warp assigned to every single piece of hair i would recommend that you do that uh, because I have, see I have a warp for every single piece. I would recommend you do that for this section. So we're going to add the three keyframes, drop them, same thing here. And now what we're going to do is when you snap to the right dot, we're just going to pull this up and scrunch our bang a bit. And we want to use sort of the first, the bottom half, because again, you don't really move the root of the hair. It's not very natural. So we're trying to get it to look as natural as we can. So when she looks down, it will sort of bounce up on the Y, which is what would happen in animation. And then we'll snap to the left and we'll pull the piece of hair down, actually. So again, this is going to be our up and down. Then you can go and pull those middle. But remember, the further you get up, the less it's going to move. So we can have that stretching. And you can exaggerate this quite a bit. I try to exaggerate because I think that's how you get the most lively model. Some people seem to get really afraid. And that's why their models still look kind of stiff because they're just not exaggerating. In animation, if you've ever taken an animation class or again, read the book I mentioned earlier, they talk a lot about how important exaggeration actually is when it comes to animation of any kind. So we're we're gonna go to hair bang six warp now this is just the next piece and we're gonna do the same thing where we drop our three dots make sure you're on hair bounce y because that's the one we're doing now make sure you're snapped to the far right when you are moving your bang up and again if this red dot gets in the way you will have to zoom in a little bit because sometimes they're kind of like overlapping with each other and you can't like quite grab it that happens sometimes that's okay so again we can whoops so again we can see how this is crunching now and then we'll go to the left and we'll do the same thing where we pull this down and then whoops yeah and again I exaggerated even if it looks silly right now you can test it in the physics window and if it looks weird you can always come back and adjust it so just get a good starting point here now i'm going to speed up the video again and i'm going to go through the rest of the bangs feel free to slow it down if you would like all right i will see you soon All right, now we have our bang squashed and squished. The next thing you want to do is make sure you link these guys right here so that everything is together. You can unlink them at any time and go back and edit stuff without ruining absolutely anything. Nothing bad will happen if you do that, so please keep that in mind as well, but make sure those are linked. Next, we will go up to modeling. Open your physics setting once more and we will create a another uh, group. So we will go ahead and type in add. You will type in hair y bounce. We will click head preset again because it's attached to the head and we'll do long just because it is a nice preset to start with then we'll go to output settings we'll click on that right click add and once more we will do the new one we just did which is hair bounce y click ok make sure this is set to 15 or whatever you need it to be set at and now it should be working let's if you use spacebar i'm using spacebar to move around here if your physics ever stop working make sure you check the apply physics box there's a hotkey for spacebar as you can see so if you move it sometimes it'll turn off the physics so then you can just click spacebar again now we 
we have the side to side and now we also have up and down as well. So it's really slight there. See why I exaggerate it? And you might want to mess with some of your settings uh, to get it to just be even more bouncy. Again, that's going to sort of come back from messing with all your settings over here, like the duration, uh, how long it is, how much shaking there is. I don't know 100% how like to get exactly what you want here. I found that just messing with it a lot and sort of getting like a feel for it is really, uh, it was really something you can do to just test it out. So, okay, great. After we do that, now the next thing we want to do is go back to input settings and we don't have angle Y in here. So actually we're going to want to delete uh, body X. I'm just going to click on it and then click delete up here. Click on it, uh, click delete. And then we'll go to drop down body Z and just change it to angle Y instead. And so then you can delete the other one as well. And we'll just have angle Y and angle X. So then when we move up and down now, you can see that bounce is going and make sure the effective is turned up for there as well. So then you should be good to go. Your bangs should be pretty much ready. Again, if you want to experiment and try to get it to bounce more or to be more flowy, make sure you play with all your settings over here. Uh, that could absolutely help a lot. So I, I highly recommend messing with that until it gets to somewhere you like that fits your character. You've done it! You should be so proud of yourself! We got flowy booby hair now and bangs. And again, you can apply that to more of the pieces of your hair as well. It can get a little bit different with the longer hair. But again, if you're interested, comment down below for a video like that. If you're looking for a video to watch next, I recommend you watch my how to add physics to accessories video to get even more movement and make your VTuber model look better. I will see you next time on the Sapphire Star. Bye!